Welcome in, welcome in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a multiple stacked bar chart of uh, multiple variables. So for example if you have here uh, 4.1 to 4.7, these were all questions related to a teacher on uh, some module. And they all have the same uh, values, so in this case ranging from fully disagree to fully agree. Now, I have another video where I show how this can be done by using Analyze and then Custom Tables. That will go slightly quicker. Um, but it was pointed out that in the SPSS base option there is no custom tables. So if you don't have this, hopefully this video will work. Uh, let me know um, if you have the base version and this works. Because it does require the restructure option. So let's begin with that. Click on Data and then select Restructure and then leave it at the first option and go next then leave it at the one go for next uh, you might want to change the target variable name I'll leave it now for trans uh, which is short for transpose and then select all the variables that you want uh, that form uh, one group and in this case I move D7 to the right then go for next uh, leave it at one again click on next uh, you might want to change this to variable names that way you know which option is which otherwise it will just give one two three four five six seven um, and then you might want to add the values later which one was which but in this case if you click on variable names it will just use the variable names uh, you can click on finish now or go for next and then next again and then finish now this is going to restructure your data so you might want to save this file under a different name now just in case so for example file and then go for save as because what has happened is uh, is in the data view uh, for each respondent that I had it now actually has seven entries uh, one for each of the questions that were there uh, to create the diagram you can now go uh, oh one more thing what you might want to do is at the end uh, in the variable view you now see that it used the first variable um, that I selected as the name but that's not entirely teacher uh, items might be a better name for it and then you can actually create the diagram go for graphs and then chart builder and you get a warning about measurement levels click on OK and, and then select the gallery uh, you might want to hit reset first just if you've used this before in the gallery the bar option and then select the stack bar also known as a compound one drag that into the preview area scroll all the way down and move the index variable into the x-axis and the other one the teacher items in this example to the stack color set then in the element properties window which I'll bring into view if you're not seeing this just click on element properties up here uh, at bar 1 change it to percentage set parameters and change that to total for each x-axis category click on continue don't forget to hit apply and then when you click on OK in your output you should now actually get to see a nice bar chart compound with all of the options in there you can double click on this if you want to open the chart editor uh, perhaps you want to transpose this so that's this little option up here and if you want you can also click uh, on one of them so they're all actually selected and then in the properties if you're not seeing that you can double click in the properties you can change in the categories uh, the order so from ascending perhaps to descending and then apply and then hopefully it switches it around as you can see now you can close the chart editor and the changes will be there now because I'm not fully sure if you actually have the chart builder and you can also now use cross steps so analyze descriptive statistics and then cross steps and then go all the way down uh, put the index in the ooh, let me think about this in the columns and then the teacher items in my example to the rows 
then go for cells and say uncheck the observed and check the row percentages and then uh, sorry the column percentages click on continue click on OK and now actually you can double click in the cross table select everything sometimes it opens up in a separate window sometimes it just opens up in here depending on the size right click and then say create graph and bar I can close this one now this is not a stacked one yet so double click on the bar chart you get the chart editor again click on one of the bars or double click if you're not seeing the properties windows go to variables change the X cluster to stack oh. uh, let me try that again change the X cluster to stack apply and as you can see it should now actually change to that same diagram uh, I would recommend here then to also change these values by clicking very slowly on it to percent because they're not actually values but percentages and of course you can also change the uh, title here and again if you like you can actually transpose the chart and you can change the order again but I hope you got the ID by now and hopefully this will uh, work also with the base option. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time.